Uh, first of all, uh, my name is Congressman Stephen Lynch, and I have the great honor of representing the town of Braintree in the United States Congress. And it is my honor and pleasure to call to order this evening the swearing in. That introduction of began Wednesday's mayor inauguration Joseph proceedings for the C. first Sullivan. mayor of Braintree, Joseph C. Sullivan. Sullivan became the town's youngest electman at the age of 26, and now, 22 years later, he will become the town's first mayor after charter reform created the position. In attendance at the event were Congressman Stephen Lynch, State Representative Joseph Driscoll, Lieutenant Governor Timothy Murray, and United States Senator John Kerry. The event also featured the swearing-in of Braintree's new town councilors and school committee. Here are some comments from Lieutenant Governor Murray. Uh, as a son of a history teacher, I find it exciting uh, because as when you look back at the beginning of the new government uh, for Braintree, knowing that uh, what's happening here uh, goes back to 1640 and an unbroken chain of self-determination, it really is awesome to contemplate it. Uh, the governor and I talk a lot about civic engagement uh, and certainly Braintree and its history is all about that. Uh, as we continue to try to build the Here is the official inauguration proceedings performed by Lieutenant Governor Murray. Sir. I, Joseph C. Sullivan, do solemnly swear solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance be a true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, I, Joseph C. Sullivan, will solemnly swear and affirm, solemnly swear and affirm, that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all of the duties incumbent upon me as mayor. All of the duties incumbent upon me as mayor. According to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my abilities, and understanding, with understanding <coughs> and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution, the Constitution, the laws of the Commonwealth, the laws of the Commonwealth, and the Charter and ordinances of the Town of Ranger, and the Charter and ordinances of the Town of Ranger. So help me God. So help me God. I, I Joseph C. Sullivan, you solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. Uh, Lastly, a speech from the Honorable Mayor Joseph C. Sullivan. Thank you all very much for uh, gathering here this evening. Uh, I first of all, uh, right to start, I just want to thank my wife, Barbara, uh, my son, Patrick, and my daughter, Molly. Proud of you guys very much, and uh, without without you uh, sustaining me uh, every day, uh, I would not be able to be uh, in this position uh, to be able to offer some direction. And Patrick, I think, was uh, perhaps a bit reluctant to stand up, uh, but he uh, he did it well. So thanks, pal. Uh, I also want to thank the governor uh, for, for coming by. I know he had to take right off and head up uh, head up north, but he's very uh, kind of come by today, and I thank you very much for that. I want to thank. Uh, Congressman Lynch and, and his representation, his continued support and friendship, and a tremendous job for us in Washington. Uh, and I want to thank my friend, Representative Driscoll, as well, for doing a tremendous job uh, at the State House uh, and just working on behalf of our community. Uh, I've been there, I know what the job entails, and Joe is doing it tremendously well. Um, I want to thank uh, all of you and just uh, take a moment as well to thank my family uh, uh, who are gathered here, primarily in the front. Um, and without uh, your love and support, uh, all of you, the Barbara's family, as well as my immediate family, uh, thank you. I think uh, most of you know uh, that I lost my mother this year, uh, but um, she's with us in spirit. She would have loved today. She would have loved this event. And, uh, with a deep awareness of the responsibility that you have entrusted in me uh, and an appreciation of our past and a commitment to create a better tomorrow, I take this oath of office with sincere gratitude and true affection for this town we call home. Our town's history is replete with excellence in a variety of endeavors, from politics to industry to athletics. And whether it is in the White House or West Point, 
a science lab at the Summer Olympics. Sons and daughters of Braintree have gone forward to excel and to help change the world. And today, I confidently proclaim that Braintree, our town, will attain greatness. Our biggest asset is our potential, and we do not know yet how great we can be. And I pledge to work with the newly elected council, the school committee, and all interested parties to strive every day to meet the high standards that our history has set and provide the people of Braintree with the quality of government that they deserve.